Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a month ago, I let you know about a new feature that will let you continue tasks across devices. And the feature is called Resume, also known as Hands Off. And as mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Resume is a feature that will let you start something on one device and then continue on your PC. And it was spotted as a hidden feature in a previous beta channel inside a, a preview build. And just to let you know that in last week's beta channel build that rolled out, 22635.4510, which I also posted on, linked down below and in the end screen, um, the resume feature has been moved into a new location. And this was spotted by Phantom of Earth over on X. Now, when I posted previously, um, resume was spotted in the settings system menu. And if we head over to a screenshot provided, here we can see that it's been moved to settings apps in last week's beta channel build. And the description has also been updated. So it's called resume continue work across devices. And I think this makes a little bit more sense uh, because it is a feature that will let you control different apps um, kind of beyond your device. So I think it makes more sense to have it um, in the settings under the apps category and not on the system category. And I think that will make a lot more sense. Now, this is still a hidden feature and can be enabled if you are running that build using the third-party app Valve tool, as you may well know. And also something else is that once you click the resume option, um, the next page then will be listed and will be filled with all the list of apps that can be used um, in such a way across your devices, which I think is a nice move. And at this stage, though, this is a hidden feature. So um, we don't know if it'll actually make it to official testing. I personally think that it will. Um, I think this could be a handy feature, um, but obviously it'll need a bit of testing and it's still a hidden feature. But I'm um, just putting it out there in case you would be interested. And just on a side note, um, something similar but different is, as I posted on um, a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago, um, you can now finally remotely access your Android phone in File Explorer on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you want more info on how you can do that, I'll also um, just leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Because with this update, you can wirelessly browse through all your folders and files, including media that is on your Android phone. And then you can open them, copy them to your PC, copy PC files to your phone, rename files, move them and delete them and so on. But go check that video out if you'd like some more info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.